Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Ashley and in today's video we are going to be doing a foundation review and wear test for the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. Um, I picked this up uh, the other day and yeah, um, I will say I have already done this video once. Unfortunately, my SD card corrupted and deleted all of my files. So there's that. Um, so unfortunately we are doing it again. Thankfully I am going to work so it's kind of like the same deal. I will be wearing it for a longer period of time today so it kind of works out even better because then I can wear it for longer. Um, that being said, obviously don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the little notification button to be notified when I upload a new video. And we're just going to get straight on into the review and talk about the foundation a little bit. Um, so I picked this up the first time in a shade too light. I am actually 41 NN, um, so neutral, neutral. Um, and I had picked up 40 NN. That was way too light for me. Um, I don't really see how that would be. Well, it was pretty light, um, unfortunately. So I had to go back and exchange it for the correct shade. This, I have to say, is the perfect shade for me. Um, it's what's amazing about this foundation in particular. It's got 50 shades, which is pretty incredible, um, and is why it had such a hype about it when it was released. Um, really, really like it. Um, but we're gonna get straight into the like. All right. With that being said, this so this foundation in particular. Um, I'm gonna like just go through all of the stuff that it says it can do or it's supposed to do. Um, it says it's a flexible, breathable, real skin matte finish, which is what I really like. I like a matte finish. My skin is oily, for those of you that don't know. Um, so, your girl likes to just keep it really mattified. Um, medium buildable coverage. It does not transfer. It minimizes the appearance of pores. stays true to color. Waterproof, vegan formula, and then it does not contain animal-derived ingredients or byproducts. Um, so, that is what the box. Um, I will say it really does not transfer. Um, I don't know if it lasts that way. Like I don't know why I like using it on my skin, but I swatched it and it did not get on my sweater um, from swatching it at the store. So that's pretty impressive. But I don't know after how long it stops being transfer proof because obviously I am really oily. So that being said, um, but yes. So like I said, I am shade 41NN, and we're just going to jump straight into actually the application and everything, and yeah. Alright, also I have you guys zoomed in. Um, we're going to get ready to put this foundation on my skin. I've pulled back my hair and everything. Um, I will say, when I looked up this foundation, they gave you three options of how to apply the foundation. Obviously, a brush, um, a sponge, and your finger application. Um, I am going to be using a brush personally because that's all, that's the only way I use any of my foundations. So we're just going to do it like I normally do any foundation of mine. They say that using a brush gives you the most full coverage that you can get from the foundation. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer um, because I use a primer with all of my foundations. We're just going to give this foundation a fair shot. Um, and I'm only going to be applying this on right on my nose and my T-zone because that is where I get the most um, oily. And this does a really good job at like hiding my pores. I really like this primer. Also, it is two o'clock in the afternoon when I'm putting this on, so and I go in at work at five, and we'll be there till midnight. So, yay. Um, the one thing I have to say, so the packaging is so nice on this foundation. Um, it is plastic. It doesn't look like it would be plastic, um, but it is a beautiful, uh, it's beautiful packaging. Um, I really like it. It's travel friendly, which is nice because you don't have to worry about it for, like breaking or anything. So I like that. Um, it does come with a pump, which is even better. Um, and yeah, so. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. So I'm going in with like a stippling motion. 
um, to get the most coverage so I'm not like taking away from the actual foundation application it's a, okay so the consistency of this foundation is watery um, it is very runny so if you were to apply it on the back of your hand it's literally gonna slide um, but so it kind of gives you a, a weird feeling that it wouldn't be um, it's, it's gonna just slide everywhere but it really doesn't um, when you apply it it actually goes on very matte um, it doesn't dry down quickly enough to where you can't move the product it does a really good job at moving around with the skin um, it's basically, I feel like this would be basically your, your skin, but better. Um, it's just going to give you this nice, like radiant, um, like finish. It's, it is really, really nice. So I'm just going to apply it to one half of my face and I'll show you guys what the difference is. I have to say this, the finish is so beautiful. It literally looks like natural skin. Um, it just looks like my skin is a little bit more airbrushed. I really, really like it. Um, yeah, I really like the, I mean, like, look how pretty. It's covered all the little redness on my cheeks. Um, yeah, I really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the rest of my face. It is a medium coverage. Um, it, this is just one layer of foundation on my skin. Get my forehead. This is gonna be the moment when I can get my um, pimples covered. I always try to get my hair out of it and I end up with it in there always. Beautiful, okay. Look at the coverage, that's like so nice. I will say, if I'm a little dry right here and it's kind of clung to that, but it's okay. I can love that. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right, so really, really love the, um, the pigmentation on the foundation. It feels very light. It does not feel like because as you guys could tell, I did put a little extra on this side of my face. This side has a little bit more texture than this side. Um, I'm actually very happy. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin. Um, yeah, no, it feels very beautiful. It's obviously a perfect match for me. I actually really like this shade as well. It's probably the truest match I've gotten since my Estee Lauder, honestly. Like, I don't feel like it's... I will say there are, I've watched so many tutorials and like videos and reviews and stuff on this foundation um, and a lot of people said it oxidized and so for some people it did and for some people it didn't. The first time I wore this foundation it did not oxidize um, so that is really really awesome. Yeah. So overall I love the application and applies easy. It's so beautiful. This is basically what it looks like without any setting powder, any concealer, anything. Um, so now I'm actually gonna go in and use all of my other stuff and we're gonna see how it took to actual products and I will be right back. Okay, so this is the final look. I went super simple. Um, I was gonna wear like lashes and all that stuff like I did for the first video I filmed, but um, I decided against it. Um, we're just going to really focus, I wanted to just focus on the foundation itself. Um, so, with that being said, we will see what this is, um, what this is like at the end of the day. Um, it is 219, so 220, so this is what it's looking at like right now. I'm actually going to, obviously everything that I've used will be linked down below for you guys. Um, I'm actually going to put setting spray on as well. I almost forgot about that. Um, so there's that. Um, I absolutely love the way that this foundation just sits on my face. It blends with all of my makeup beautifully. I'm super excited to see what it's going to look like after a really long day. Um, it's probably going to, I'm probably going to be wearing it for like eight or nine hours. Um, which is probably the max on any foundation that I wear, so 
with that being said, fully finished. Um, I will check back in at the end of the day when I get home and we're gonna see up close and personal how it looks on the skin, how it's like setting, if it's breaking apart, all that good stuff. So I will be right back with you guys and we're gonna see what it looks like at the end of the day. So yeah. All right, y'all. So I am back after a really long afternoon at work. Um, so obviously I've had this foundation on since 2 p.m. in the afternoon. It is now one o'clock in the morning. It's one o'clock in the morning. So obviously I'm exhausted. I wear my hair, I have to wear my hair up for work. Um, so my hair is all flat now, so don't mind that. But we're gonna talk a little bit about this foundation. I've been wearing it for 11 hours. This is the longest I've worn a foundation, probably, because when I know I'm gonna close a shift at work, I don't typically wear makeup. So, that being said, I'm gonna zoom you guys in and clip my hair back so you guys can see all the nooks and crannies and see what this foundation has done to my skin, because obviously I am a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, the shine did not come to play with my with this foundation. Also, I'm gonna so I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Um, okay. Also, don't mind the scab. I suck and I picked my skin. So, there's that. Don't mind it. Don't look at it. Um, okay. So, <laughs> that being said, I am actually very shocked with the coverage um, of this foundation. Um, as you guys saw when I first put it on, I only put one layer um, on the majority of my face and only and did like two layers over here. I, I don't, you guys, this, my cheek and my mouth area has not moved. Like, I am looking in the mirror right here and I actually cannot right now. The only area that is a problem for me is my nose. But yeah, so literally the only bad thing is that my nose is bright and shiny. I actually do not mind how it looks on my skin. It is absolutely beautiful. It did not change color as you guys can see. Um, it did not oxidize, which I'm so happy about. I, I'm amazed. Obviously having worn it for 11 hours, I'm feeling a little like it's time to take it off because I just want it, just a clean face. But it is beautiful. This foundation did not come to play. Um, I really, really do like it. Also, forgive me if I'm just not like super hyper or whatever, but I am so tired um, and exhausted, but don't mind me. Um, I actually cannot. Like, obviously like in my smile lines, duh, but like that doesn't bother me whatsoever. I also have issues with like my my makeup r rubbing off because of my glasses. I wear glasses for those of you that don't know. So like when I'm off camera, I am wearing glasses all day, every day. Um, yes, I can still see, <laughs> but I still have issues um, with things that are far away. Um, so obviously doing makeup is not, doesn't get in the way of that. But anyways, um, but even then y'all, 11 hours in and this is a beautiful foundation. The obviously the only thing that I have to say about it is my nose. But I now know that I just need to powder my nose better. I'm actually really glad that I had a chance to refilm this video because I got to wear it for three or four hours longer than the original video. So I'm very happy about that. This. It's just beautiful. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and put some powder on my nose. And we're gonna see like what it does. I'm just gonna use my Becca Hydra Mist um, setting powder and I'm just gonna go on my nose. I am missing some foundation right at the tip of my nose, but for the most part. I 
actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm actually so shocked. <laughs> okay, so 10 or 11 hours wearing this foundation. I went back in with my setting powder and re-mattified my nose. And I'm actually, I need to zoom in because you guys have to see that. Obviously, like right along here, it's very much like light and you can see under my skin, but so I honestly can't say enough things. Um, obviously, I waited till the very end to set my face again so you guys could see what it looked like literally walking out of work. Um, I am shocked, like actually shocked. It's been a really long time since the foundation has actually shocked me and this has a beautiful finish even after 11 hours of wear. You can go back in and repowder your face and you don't get cakey. I, yeah, 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend for oily skin. This is probably gonna be one of my go-tos now. So ecstatic. Um, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. It is such a good foundation. It honestly lives up to all of the things that it says that it's going to do. It is really lightweight, um, medium to full coverage because it is a buildable coverage. I, I approve it for oily skin babes because I have the oily skin in the world you guys saw before I set my face um, so yeah that's the only thing obviously like if you're gonna wear it for 24 hours set your face throughout the day if you have oily skin probably going to be a foundation that I grab over and over and over again I am so happy with it it is so good um, with that being said I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video um, hopefully you guys love this video and if you guys have tried this foundation yourselves definitely leave a comment down below um, and also let me know your skin type because if you are oily skin girl let me know your feelings um, but also if you have dry skin as well if you have dry skin let me know how you feel about this foundation because obviously there are two ends of the spectrum and um, you either really love something or you're really gonna hate it let me know down below but yeah so we're just gonna end it right here Hopefully you guys love this video. If you do, let me know down below and I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye guys.